Hello everyone, welcome back and thank you for watching. I recently went to Dollar Tree and found these new Rabon transfers. So today's video is going to be full with easy Dollar Tree farmhouse DIYs. I am so excited to show y'all how I use these. So I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you do, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to hit the notification bell button so you can get notified every time I upload. With that being said, now let's craft. Starting with my favorite DIY, I will be making a wood decor caddy using these Dollar Tree wood planks. Six come in a pack, but I'm using five. And the last one, I will be using it for my third DIY. Now, to make the sides, I will be cutting two of them on one side into triangle shapes. To cut the sides, I will be using my jigsaw and you can purchase this in my Amazon link. I'll have it down in the description box in case you want to check it out or you can use a handsaw. Either one will work. I'm going to glue everything together to make the caddy. I'm using hot glue, but I will be adding some Jenga blocks for extra support. You can use wood glue if you like. I just chose not to because I don't like waiting for everything to dry 24-7. I mean 24-7. 20, I don't like waiting 24 hours to start painting it. I added four Jenga blocks each on one corner. Now I'm adding two Jenga blocks, one on each side. This is so when I add the bottom piece, which is gonna be the fourth little wood plank, this is going to adhere to. So I'm using hot glue once again. You can always use wood glue if you like. For the little handle, I'm using a square dowel, Dollar Tree carries circle dowels that you can use instead. I don't remember where I got this from, but I am going to cut it to sides, then glue it. To glue this, I'm only using hot glue. To paint my caddy, I'm using this color I made using the Apple Barrel Acrylic Paint in Chestnut Black classic caramel and the Waverly chalk paint in the color mineral. The next thing I will be doing is making a little white square in the front using white chalk paint. And to make the square, I did use some of the Dollar Tree painters tape. One mistake I did was I didn't measure how big the little transfer image was and I had to redo the square. So I do recommend you measuring it before you do this. Now, you don't have to do this if you paint the caddy white. Now you can see here the square is a lot bigger and I'm going to just send it down. Once I am done doing that, I'm going to transfer the little image I'm using which it says farm fresh flower seeds, stems and blooms. When transferring the image, one thing I do recommend you is to like tape down the side so like that when you start um, pressing it down with whatever you're using, you don't move it. And this was so easy. Now look how beautiful this looks. Now you can add whatever you like to this little caddy. What I'm using is two of the Dollar Tree little crafter square little bottles and I painted them white and I added some juice string to the top with a bow. So once I am done putting the bow, I'm adding the greenery. Then I'm adding both of these little vases into the caddy. And look how cute this turned out, which is absolutely my favorite.
all right moving on from dollar tree i'm using this white bucket that i found in the party aisle using a dollar tree sponge paintbrush i'm using the rest of the paint and painting the top and bottom and distressing this Once this is dry, I'm adding the little sticker and look how beautiful these rubber transfers are. I'm using the one that says, you are a wildflower. To decorate the bucket a little more, I will be adding some jute twine to the handle. And that is it for this bucket. Now you can add whatever greenery you like to. I'm using this Dollar Tree one. For my next DIY, I will be using the leftover wood plank with a paint stick that I cut to size and a Jenga block. I'm going to paint everything white. Using whatever's left over on the little paintbrush sponge, I'm going to distress the plank and the paint stick. There is two images left over from the Rabon transfer sheet. This one right here and the other one says wash and dry laundry service, which I'm going to save that one. I won't be using it in this video. This image was perfect for this wood plank. Now I'm going to glue the wood plank to the paint stick and adding the Jenga block in the back for extra support. Now to decorate this a little more, I'm going to just wrap around some jute twine at the bottom and making a small little bowl to add it to the pot. And that is it for this beautiful decor. Now this is perfect for a tear tray. For my next project, I'm using one of these little wood houses. Now these are new to Dollar Tree. They carry two different colors, this white board and they carry a black chalkboard. Now I'm going to use the same paint and paint the border. And don't worry if you accidentally paint a little bit of the inside with a Q-tip, you can easily remove that paint even after it's dry. The next thing I will be doing is just setting it down to make this more rustic. Now I'm going to use the second sheet that I found which is absolutely beautiful. I'm using this that says welcome home. I was going to use the leaves to come on the side 
but they didn't fit on the little house so I just cut those off and I saved them. The last thing I will be adding is a Dollar Tree little clear hook so I can add a wreath. The wreath I'm using is from Target from the Dollar Spa. I also added a little jute twine bow. And that is it for this beautiful welcome home little house. My next DIY is going to be something I have done and everyone has done, but I thought the little transfer stickers were perfect to add to this. From the Dollar Tree, I'm going to use one of the little crates and I'm going to paint it white. Using whatever's left over on the sponge, I'm going to distress it. This transfer sheet had this image that has three words that says love, peace, and joy. So I thought these went perfect on this little crate, which I'm pretty sure you guys already guessed what I'm making. Right besides these words, you can see some leaves, but I'm not using those. What I'm going to use instead are the leaves that I removed from the welcome sign or welcome home sign that I did in my previous DIY. So that is what I'm going to use instead. To decorate this a little more, I will be adding some drawstring on the side. And some greenery at the top with a jute twine bow. And that is it for these decorative books. For my next DIY, I'm using another Dollar Tree new item. They carry two different colors, white and in black. So I'm going to start by painting the frame using the same mixture I've been using. And you can leave it like this, but I decided to distress this since I already did my other ones and I think it looks so much better like this. To decorate my sign, I will be using the third Robon transfer sheet that I found which is absolutely beautiful. Now, like I said, I only found three of these different ones and I actually went to the website and seen if they were more, but I didn't find anything. So guys, let me know down in the comment section if you guys know if they carry some more different ones. But anyways, I'm going to use the word farmhouse with the little leaves and I used my Cricut to cut out a little half a windmill, which I actually designed myself, which I don't think it looks that bad. But anyways, I ended up transferring this to my sign, but I did not like it. 
so i do want to show you i guess two different options on how to use this you can use it with a little windmill with a farmhouse at the top with the leaves Or you can add some greenery, which I'm using these eucalyptus, no, boxwood greenery that I got from Walmart. I cut two stems off, tied them in the center with jute twine, and then glued them to the side. And to cover the jute twine, I added a bow. And that is it for this farmhouse sign. that is sick guys now i did have a lot of the images left over which i cannot wait to use so thank you so much for watching let me know down in the comment section which one was your favorite please subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up because it really helps my channel until next time bye